What music is that I hear? Something to try and make you feel at home. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to film for you my five autumn essentials for your winter wardrobe. That made no sense. My five essentials for your autumn wardrobe. Um, so I've picked out like key pieces and shoes um, and like coats and stuff. Um, and I've got examples of them and I film sideways because I'm so organised. Um, and I'm not with my mail today because I want to sit on the sofa and be comfortable. So I hope you guys don't mind about that. Um, but yeah, anyway. So, I won't go on too long. I'll get in straight into it. But before I get into it, I would love you to subscribe if you haven't already. I do two fashion videos every week and sometimes extra. I used to do weekly vlogs and I'm trying to get back into them. But to no avail. But soon, soon there will be. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is loafers. I think loafers are like the perfect autumn shoe. I think autumn is like a really funny one because I used to see someone who either wore sandals or boots and had like no in between. Um, but the loafers like really changed that for me and then slowly but surely I've got like into trainers. So another good autumn one but they're not in here. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I've got some loafers to show you. I've got two pairs of Gucci loafers here um, and I mean, we're talking about like autumn investments and key pieces, so I haven't like tried to do, like some of them, not all of them are expensive, like let me tell you that now. Um, lots of high street in here too, but I don't have any loafers that aren't Gucci. Um, just, I mean, that makes me sound really bougie, but anyway, I'm gonna stop explaining myself. Um, so I think Gucci loafers are really comfortable, they are expensive, they're gonna last you forever as long as you keep getting them resold and look after them. So I think it's worth the investment because I do think they're an autumn essential every year. They're not a trend. Um, so yeah, I definitely think they're a good investment. Um, and these are the first ones I ever got. They're in really good condition. I haven't actually worn them as much as I thought I would. Um, but um, I think that's because I got them like at a weird time last year. So I didn't really have a chance to wear them in the autumn. But I'm hoping that this autumn I'll wear them way more. Um, I love them because they're like the classic Gucci loafers. But a bit of a twist because they've got these bugs on them. Um, so yeah, I really like those. And they're a great essential for sure. And then another one is kind of summer. But they, I want to show you them because I think they're also for like autumn. Because the weather's quite unpredictable in autumn. And also... Um, we've been having like a kind of warm autumn in the UK um, it's like up and down the weather um, and I've got these um, backless Gucci loafers they are white um, I would actually recommend these in white too I mean the white ones do like they I haven't had these for half the time and they already look way more worn but it's because of the leather um, they are the softest shoes I've ever owned literally they're so soft they're like slippers and um, they're so comfortable, easy to wear, they go with everything. I've worn these so much this summer, literally like daily. I've worn them in the evenings, in the daytime. They also look really nice with like jeans and a jumper. So I do think they're a good autumn shoe too. Um, and again, they do these in black. They do them in the cream with the embroidery on and they do them in the black with the embroidery on. Um, or if you were thinking more autumn winter, they also do them with fur lining, which I am looking at, but I'm not sure. And I'm also not sure if I need that many pairs of Gucci loafers, if I'm honest. So my next autumn winter essential is something that if you follow me on like my blog, Instagram here or wherever for a while, you'll know that I am a huge fan of is a cream jumper. I think a good cream jumper will last you years. It's an autumn essential because as well, like if you get a good one, um, you won't be wear you can wear it without a coat. But then when it comes to like more of a chillier autumn day, you can put a little coat on top. So loads of different ways to wear it. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. Literally a million ways to wear. Um, so I've got two to show you. I've got one high street and one more expensive. Um, and the first one I want to show you is this one from Acne. Uh, I actually got it in the net porter sale. I always look out for Acne knitwear in the sales because. Um, usually they bring back the styles, like this style is online at the moment so I'll link it um, but in a different colourway but I think this is such a classic colourway so I'm a bit shocked that it was in the sale but yeah they always um, bring back the styles that they put in the sale which is so strange to me um, so yeah it's really good to kind of like get yourself knitwear if you're thinking of investing in the sale. Did I say sale on that time? Um, so I think I paid 170 or 150 for this um, and I think they're around 200 and something now maybe 300 but I will link everything. I'll link everything I talk about and add sizing information and prices 
in the description below you know when it's got that bar and you do like the little clicky bit and it like expands um, and then I'll also link or if I don't link it just go to my blog www.lifestylemindfulness.co.uk I'll write it here um, and I will do a blog post um, and for each item I'll do like an edit of what's on the high street and high end or whatever um, maybe I'll do like a high street one and a high end one so that if you don't want to buy any of the things that I've got then you can have a look at what else there is available but obviously this is about investment so I want to show you the pieces that I've invested in rather than just buying things for the sake of the video. Rant over, or blab over. Um, so yeah, I really like this jumper, I've worn it so much. Even my dad pointed out that it does, you, it does, he would never condone like spending that much money on a jumper. He would like think it's ridiculous, as most people would, correctly. But I really like it, it's really warm, it's really cozy, it goes with everything, and as he said, it does look expensive. Like you can tell when you look at it that it's not a high street jumper if you know what I mean so I think like things like that make you think it's worth it mm, maybe um but yeah I, I really recommend this and I've got the cardigan version of this too which I also got in the next quarter sale and the next cream net I want to show you is this one from and other stories I have a really bad feeling that this one might have sold out but um anything that has sold out or isn't available like that acne jumper I'll find the closest alternative or another colorway or something um, and I will link the original too in case it comes back into stock um because this is such a classic and and other stories tend to do that like they don't I don't really think they get rid of styles um so yeah it probably will come back in stock if it's not gone out of stock then I'm just talking for no reason um, but this is a jumper I really love it's got this amazing deep V and I actually normally wear it with a body from Revolve which I will link below as well because um it's like the perfect you sometimes see a little bit of lace but it's like the perfect kind of cover up because it's a really deep V body um, but it covers your boobs so um, if you don't want anything showing but also this looks really cool with like a high neck top as well um, so yeah um, and this is just like a really loose I got it in a medium oversized jumper it's such a classic I don't think I'll ever get rid of this in my wardrobe unless it's like moth ridden um, and it's just such a good classic very warm um, so many different ways to wear it I don't really know what else to say apart from the fact that it's a great jumper so the next thing I want to talk about is denim and I know that denim is like kind of a given but I do think that like it's really important to get a really good pair of jeans for autumn because if you're anything like me you live in jeans and I just think you want a pair that are comfortable that uh, look nice and go with every outfit because I think if you have a good pair of jeans then they can really like it really adds to an outfit because I think some people overlook them because they're just like um, kind of the starting of an outfit but it is important and um, so i have a couple of pairs of jeans i'm loving at the moment to show you and um, the first pair of these from revolve and um, from the brand their brand their own brand and um, girlfriend denim which i love so much i've worn these loads they've got these really cool big rips they're like um they have like frayed detail but they look really cool turned up as you can see that's how i wear them um, and they've got loads of rips but i think they look really nice and i actually really love the light wash and it looks really cool with jumpers too like a black jumper and these looks really cool it looks really nice they look really nice with boots um and also like just jumpers look really nice with it. i tried that um i was just going to tell you about another jumper that i've just filmed in another video and then i just realized that it, it was not in this video so i can't talk about it anyway it looks really nice with jumpers take it from me the next pair of jeans I want to talk to you about are these ones. These are from Levi. They are the 501 straight legs. Uh, they are so comfortable and they fit really nicely. They're not too tight, they're not too loose. Um, and they come to a really good point in the leg. Like um, I'll put overlays of everything that I'm talking about so you'll see. Don't know why I'm saying I put overlays because you probably can see it right now when I'm telling you that I'm going to put overlays. Um, but you can see that they meet the boots like they come to a really nice point in the leg um and so yeah i think they're like a really 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 good pair of jeans and also i love the wash of them because they're not gray but they're not black or well, i guess they are gray but they're like a charcoal gray um and they're really nicely washed out and they're just really comfortable such a good fit i definitely would get these in like other colors from levi because i think they're a really good pair so the next trend i want to talk to you about well not trend sorry i i want to talk to you about is ankle boots Ankle boots, I mean boots in general, definitely for autumn winter are like a good one, but I think ankle boots to me are more timeless and classic than like over the knee boots and things. Um, I'm just, I really like over the knee boots and I really try to get into them, but I just don't think they suit my style 
don't quote me to that if I get another pair. Um, but I personally am an angle boot person all the way. I think that they look really nice as you're transitioning as well from like summer to autumn winter um, because they look really nice with like dresses or like skirts and a jumper. Um, I think that can be way more flattering too. Probably regret that as soon as I just said it because actually over the movies are really flattering. But anyway, I, I just really like them. They're my preference. So I have three pairs to show you because I honestly couldn't pick because I've got so many pairs. And um, I've got two investment pairs and one high street pair. Um, so yeah, I just want to show you all of them. So the first pair to show you are these Balenciaga boots. These are my best investment. I've said it so many times. They are the best investment I have ever made in designer products because I have worn these non-stop. My, my cost per wear must be so low. Um, I did get them when they were cheaper. They were like £800. Like, that's not cheap at all. But they're £1,000 now. But I still think I would buy them again if I lost them or anything happened to them because I wear them so much. They were really uncomfortable when I first got them. But now I've worn them in. They're not um, uncomfortable at all. They're actually really comfortable. I just wanted to show you a close-up of them. I've had them for over a year um, and worn them like every day just because some people were asking me about the quality and to me they still look like really good quality so yeah I just want to show you that so that you can kind of know um, but yeah I think they're an amazing investment if I could pick like if even though I spent all my money on them already if someone said to me the house is burning down what are you going to take with you your classic Chanel flap or your Balenciaga boots I would say my Balenciaga boots and I think that's saying something so another pair of investment boots um, that I want to show you because they don't have a cutout and they're also really classic uh, is the Chloe um, Susanna boots, I think they're called. Or just the classic Chloe boots that are like everywhere. Um, I really like these. I didn't want to buy them for ages because I thought that, you know, there's so many fakes of them on the high street everywhere. Um, but they're just such a classic. They've always been a great, great classic. And I don't think the high street ones do them any favours. Um, and these are super soft leather, like honestly the most comfortable boots. Again, they look really nice in summer, winter. They look really nice with like a denim skirt and jumper. Um, and also... Um, I was going to say, oh yeah, there's, there's like the Western trend at the moment that's really popular. So these are like a really good pair for that. But obviously, because they're classic, it doesn't matter if the trend is gone. They're still going to be popular. Um, but yeah, I love them. I really like them. Um, I haven't worn them as much, but I think it's just because I've got my Balenciaga boots. But I, um, I do really, really like these boots. I think they're a very good investment, especially if you don't want something as chunky as Balenciaga boots. And then finally, the last pair of boots are these ones. These are from Ant Other Stories. And again, they're kind of like nod to the Western trend, but they are white boots. And white boots are really popular at the moment. And even though they are having a moment, I do think the white boots are just nice in general. Um, I think they're like a very clean and kind of like smarter boot maybe. Um, I love these details here. And it's like the classic Chelsea boot. They also do these in black too. Um, so if you're looking for like a classic Chelsea boot, these are really good. They are very comfortable i've had a few different styles of boots and other stories and they're always so comfortable and they've got this really like chunky heel which also makes them really comfortable for like walking around all the time um so yeah i would definitely recommend these if you're looking for something a bit more like on trend high street western but also investment um but if you don't want white they do them in black i don't think they do them in black suede or leather or both i think they sometimes do both so yeah definitely have a look at those my final item is the trench coat so i think the trench coat is like just all year round really i think you can wear it because i think in the summer it's like a really nice light layer in autumn winter it's a good layer like good layering and then in winter i would layer have i said layer enough times i would layer it up with like um maybe like a chunky cardigan or something underneath or you could put a denim jacket underneath on like layer of different coats so yeah i definitely think it's a good investment so the first one i have my classic trench coat is so old which is really like a testament to what i'm saying here it's a classic autumn winter wardrobe staple why do i keep saying winter wardrobe classic autumn wardrobe staple um so this was from next but it's quite old so i'll find an alternative that's online at the moment um and it's a really nice style it's just it's a longer trench coat and i really prefer longer ones um because i just feel like they're more flattering and i feel like i can like flap in and out of places um and yeah i just prefer them i don't know why i just i'm not really fan of like the shorter trench coats i think the long ones are way more dramatic and they look more expensive um but yeah this wasn't expensive it was it's a high street 
and she's such a classic and I keep thinking about getting the Burberry one but then I'm like do you know what I love my next one so I don't need to and then I've got another one here which I got from H&M like literally last week um, and this is the kind of Czech print so it's like very on trend but also it's such a lovely neutral print that I think that it's like even though it's on trend at the moment I think the Czech print is something that's like always around so it doesn't really matter if you buy it you're still gonna I, I think I'd still wear this like next year and stuff um, and also I feel like maybe it looks a bit smarter um, it's like a thicker material than the um, like without being too thick it's a thicker material than the other one because it's like um, more of like a is it like wool cotton anyway it's like fabric rather than I know the other one's fabric it's not normal trench coat fabric is what I'm trying to say but it's um yeah it's really comfortable I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> Sorry guys, I've just got completely like off track. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lovely coat. It's a lot, what I'm trying to say is it's sturdier. It's more structured. So I think it looks smarter. Okay, that's what I should have said to begin with. Um, but I really like the neutrals. Again, we'll go with anything. Like just imagine a white t-shirt, jeans, boots, and this. You're gonna look so classy. And all you've done is thrown a trench over your normal t-shirt and jeans. Um, so yeah, trench coats are such an autumn wardrobe essential, didn't say winter, um, and I would definitely recommend them. So yeah, I think I've said all my autumn winter essentials. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what your winter wardrobe essential is. So yeah, if you get to the end of the video, let me know you got to the end by leaving me a comment with what your winter wardrobe essential is. Um, and also, if you have any of these things, if you want me to see, see me style, like do styling videos on any of these things, um, or just anything you want to see. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and choosing to watch my video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you would like to see more videos like this, like styling, fashion, hauls, like just kind of like anything fashion-y, if you want to see those from me then make sure you subscribe to my channel i do two videos a week and i will see you next time bye what music is that i hear something to try and make you feel at home <laughs>